गुड मॉर्निंग ओम शांति टुडे इज फर्स्ट डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर लास्ट मंथ ऑफ दिस इयर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी फोर एंड फर्स्ट डेट टू बाबा साकार वर्जन इट इज मॉर्निंग मोरली एंड द रिवाइज डेट सॉरी इट इज अव्यक्त वर्जन एंड इट इज रिवाइज डेट एटीन जनवरी essence of today's morally become powerful by remaining aware of your brahmin birth and make everyone powerful brahmin birth by god himself and after coming baba is just giving awareness of our role throughout this cycle and with that awareness baba is making again like that so that is the remembrance so we we'll listen baba today the variety of sweet words of loving remembrance and the necklace of pearls of love of all loving children reached bap dada before amrit vela the children's love makes even bap dada merge in the ocean of love so just today reverse baba is merged in ocean of love of children Bab Dada saw that each child has an unbroken power of love. This power of love is making every child an easy yogi. On the basis of love, you are going beyond all attractions and moving forward as much as possible. Baba didn't see a single child who hasn't experienced receiving unique and lovely love from Bab Dada and the special souls. the beginning of brahmin life of every brahmin soul has been with the power of love initially in the start of this yagya so this power of love of this brahmin birth has become a blessing and is making you move forward therefore today is a special day of love between the father and the children each one of you has garlanded bab dada in your heart with many many necklaces of pearls of love all other powers are merged on this day but the power of love has emerged bab dada is also lost in the ocean of the children's love so today is called the day of remembrance means awareness the day of remembrance is not just the day of remembrance of father brahma but pap dada says today the constantly today and constantly remember all the different types of awareness that baba has reminded you of from the moment you took brahmin birth up to now so remember the rosary of those forms of awareness and it will become a very long rosary but what was first awareness that all of you received you do remember the first lesson do you not uh, what is that baba says who am i this awareness gave you a new birth and it transformed your attitude vision and awareness and that's a very important thing baba is uh, just Uh, bringing in the awareness as soon as you remember such an awareness you have the sparkle of spiritual happiness in your eyes and on your face you remember the awareness whereas devotee is chant and turn the beads of a rosary both is the remembrance but it uh, this is the difference so if you repeatedly remember even one awareness from amrit vela until the time you become a karma yogi this awareness makes you powerful because as is your awareness so you automatically develop that power this is why today is called the day of remembrance and also the day of power in hindi word is very nice that will affect our intellect and heart that feeling also boss is as soon as father brahma comes in front of you and as soon as the father's vision falls on you souls you receive power all of you are experienced all of you are experienced are you not 
whether you saw him in the corporeal form or whether you experience him in the avyakta stage while being sustained by the avyakta form as soon as you say bap dada from your heart in a second you automatically receive power therefore o oh powerful souls now make other souls powerful with your power and baba is just reminding our duty our says you have this enthusiasm do you not you have enthusiasm you have to make powerful souls powerful sorry powerless souls powerful do you not bab dada has seen that there is very good enthusiasm everywhere for making weak souls powerful you are planning programs for shivratri with a lot of pomp and splendor and this is the mudli of january and um, generally february march february end or march there is shivratri so baba says all of you have enthusiasm do you not do you have this enthusiasm those who have the enthusiasm to perform wonders of this year's shivratri raise your hands perform such a wonder that all upheaval ends and there is a victory wa wow. wa wow. baba says powerful souls wa wow. so all zones have planned programs <coughs> punjab has also planned them it is good give at least a drop to the souls who are wandering to thirsty souls and to peaceless souls after all they are your brothers and sisters you do feel mercy for your brothers and your sisters do you not nowadays in these times of uh, calamities they do remember god but they remember the saktis and deities such as ganesh hanuman and other deities a lot more so there is no clear introduction of god baba says that's why everybody they will remember as god so who are they you are those are you not they remember you every day they are calling out merciful one compassionate one have mercy have uh, compassion baba says give even a small drop of peace and happiness they are thirsty of one drop from you o shaktis o deities is the sound of unhappy and thirsty souls not reaching you is reaching you is it not when bab dada hears the call he remembers the saktis and the devs means deities so dadi ji has created a good program baba likes it even baba says day is a day of remembrance but today you especially received all powers by having remembrance baba has donated the transform the powers to dadi and through dadi to all souls all we brahmins so bab dada is now telling all you children everywhere that from tomorrow until shivratri keep the special aim in your hearts of definitely giving the maximum number of souls a drop and the message through your thoughts words relationship and connections in one way or another end of the complaint I was says end the complaints against you. You children think that the day the date of destruction is not yet visible, and so you can end the complaint against you at any time. Baba says, but no, because there was a rumor that in two thousand there will be destruction. The Christianity period is over, but it is January, so they say it is not visible. Baba says. if you don't end that complaint now you will receive a complaint from people asking why didn't you tell us before we too would have done something now they will say oh prabhu therefore let them take a drop of some of the inheritance give them some time to if you say let they will say now we can't make effort there is no time so baba says quench their thirst with even just one drop for those who are thirsty even one drop has a lot of importance so this is the program is it now is it not 
Bab Dada is not just showing you the green flag, but beating the drums that from tomorrow you contented souls have to give the message to all souls. At least on Shivratri, let everyone sweeten their mouths that on the father's birthday they too received the message. Relate this Bhavasi's dil khush sweet to everyone. Feed it to them. Don't celebrate Shivratri in an ordinary way. But saw Bhavasi's but saw some wonders. Do you have this enthusiasm? Do those in the first time heavy uh, first line heavy? Create a lot of splendor. At least let them understand how Shivratri has such great importance. It is the birthday of our father, mother of all souls. So let them hear this and celebrate in happiness. Acha? Bab Dada saw that at Amrit Vela, the majority of you have very good intoxication of remembrance and the godly attainments. However, there is a difference in the intoxication that you have at Amrit Vela and when you are in your Karma Yogi stage throughout the day. So what is the reason for this? While performing actions, you remain both soul conscious and karma conscious. The method of this is while performing actions, I, the soul, so and so, obviously you just remind yourself some self-respects. Which soul? You know that already. You have received the different forms of self-respect of your souls. Such a soul is one who becomes Karavanhar and makes his physical sense act. Baba is using the word Karan Karavanhar. So how, how and where and uh, when to use this word in what uh, manner that Baba is giving us the understanding. Baba says, these physical senses are my workers, but I am Karavan Har, who works through the worker. So I am soul, I am, I am owner of my organs, my own organs, that is subtle organs, and the physical organs, they are my servants. So Baba says, I am detached, I am Karavan Har by them, all the organs. So in the world too, when a director, while performing his duties, gives directions to his colleagues or those who are his uh, instruments for speaking the words. Does he forget that he is the director? He has the awareness. I myself am a powerful Karavanhar soul. The soul and the body, the awareness of one being Kara, uh, Karanhar and one Karavanhar and it becomes merged. When Baba is asking, getting, uh, giving some direction, that time I am Karanhar. But when I am getting it done through my organs, then I am Karavanhar. So I was just, do all of you old children recall what Father Brahma practiced in these early days? You saw, you saw one of this, uh, one of his diaries. Do you not? <coughs> in the old diary. There were just the words, I am a soul. Jasoda means locking wife is a soul. This child is a soul. And sometimes Nara and Nam Baba is giving. This one is a soul. That one is a soul. So first lesson, Brahma Baba also did so much efforts. He constantly practiced this foundation. Therefore, you constantly need to practice the first lesson, who am I? You do need to check yourself. Don't think I am a soul anyway. And I mean, I mean, I know that in uh, that knowledge I got from Baba. So Baba says, no, that a realization must be there. That is the point. So experience that I, the soul, as Karavanhar, am getting the work done. Karanhar is separate from Karavanhar. You also heard further Brahma's uh, other experience of his physical senses being his workers. So you heard about the court that was held every night. Did you know Brahma Baba was holding this court of his organs? So Baba says, so as their master, he asked his workers, his physical senses about their welfare. So therefore, Father Brahma practiced this foundation very firmly. Therefore, what did the children who lived with him 
in the last days experience but this that is brahma baba stage baba says that even while performing actions and being in his body and walking and moving around the father was experienced to be bodiless although he had to settle the accounts of karma he did that as a detached observer neither was the influenced by the accounts of his karma nor did he give others the experience that he was settling his karmic accounts were you aware that father brahma was becoming avyakta you weren't aware baba says were you it was because he practiced being detached and observer bodiless that is the karmatit stage over a long period of time that that form was experienced at the end so baba says at that time nothing is possible so practice of long period is required this practice over a long period of time is very useful so do, don't think that you will renounce the consciousness of your bodies at the end baba says no the experience of being bodiless and detached from your body the karavan har stage is needed the final moments for anyone baba says young old healthy or ill can come at any time therefore pay attention to the practice of being detached observer over a long period of time no matter how many natural calamities come this bodiless stage will easily make you detached and loved by god therefore bab dada is making you underline the term over a long period of time any time at baba says ever ready over a long period of time so these three words are very important baba says no matter what happens repeatedly experience the stage of a detached observer the stage of being karavan har and bodily stage then in the final moments you angels are guaranteed to become deities if you want to become like the father then the father is incorporeal and in angel to become like father brahma means to stay in the angelic stage just as when you saw the angelic form in the corporeal form you experience that the father while listening speaking or carrying out his activities in this body was detached so that was the last stage of brahma baba so to put aside your work and become bodiless is possible for a short period of time however while carrying out your activities you have to make time to continue to experience a powerful bodiless stage yeah, while doing the actions we have to experience this stage bodiless so all of you are angels by taking the support of this brahmin birth from the father you are carrying out your tasks in your corporeal forms in order to give the message and in that sense also baba says you are angel an angel is detached from the body while in the body you saw this example in father brahma it is not impossible you saw the experience the you saw and experienced it all of you who are now instruments even though there is a lot of expansion now none of you has as much responsibility as father brahma did for this new knowledge new life and for creating a new world because this study is also new baba says the brahmi life also new and to transform everybody with this awareness that was problem initially therefore everyone's aim is to become equal to father brahma that is to become an angel to become equal to father shiva means to stabilize yourself in the incorporeal stage is this difficult you have you love bap and daba and baba says do you not therefore become like the one you love we love both so baba says when you love when you have the thoughts that you have to become equal to the father then it is not difficult simply repeatedly pay attention this is not an ordinary life 
there are many who are leading ordinary lives there are many who are carrying out great task however no one apart from you brahmin souls can carry out the task that you are doing therefore today on this day of remembrance bab dada is giving you the blessings yeah, as a blessing it will be easy for us to be like that so baba says come close come close come close liberate the boat of your mind from all limited supports all the limited supports of thoughts words actions relationship and connections everything so from now have the alokic experience of being liberated in life as though you have been liberated in life over a long period of time acha baba received many letters from everywhere bab dada also received the news and reports of the madhuban residents becoming free from anger that was the project they have taken bab dada is pleased with their courage for the future in order to remain constantly free constantly wear the armor of power of tolerance <clears throat> then no matter how much someone provokes you you will remain constantly safe acha uh, to such souls who have determination and are constant embodiments of remembrance to the special souls who constantly use all their powers at the right time third to those who are merciful to all souls fourth to those who put the thoughts of becoming equal to the father into a corporeal form and fifth to such very 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 lovely and unique children bab dada's love remembrance and namaste we children also with love uh, say to uh, with uh, our uh, love to our beloved bab dada mithe mithe sikil de bachcho prati mat pita bab dada ka yaad pyar aur good morning ruhani bab ki ruhani bachcho ko namaste हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते थैंक यू वेरी मच बाबा सो बाबा इज नाउ स्पीकिंग टू डबल फॉरेनर्स टू दी डबल फॉरेनर्स डबल फॉरेनर्स हैव डबल इंटॉक्सिकेशन बिकॉज दे फील दैट जस्ट एज द फादर हैज कम फ्रॉम अ फार अवे लैंड सो दे टू हैव कम फ्रॉम फार अवे bab dada has seen one speciality of the double forager children that they ignite a lamp from another lamp and in this way they have celebrated the diwali of the ignited lamps of uh, bab dada in many countries double foreigners have a great interest in giving the message bab dada has seen that in every group there are children from 35 to 40 countries Baba says, "Congratulations! Constantly continue to fly, and and as angels continue to give the message while flying. It is good. Bab Dada is not seeing just you of the thirty-five countries, but he is seeing those of other lands with you as well. And so, therefore, you are the number one souls who will come equal to the Father. Are you not?" Are you number one, or those who will become number wise? Uh, are you number one? And the Baba is asking, are you not number wise? To become number one means to win at every moment. Those who win, and those who win, Baba says, claim number one. You are like that, are you not? So very good, Baba says, you are victorious, and are those who will remain constantly victorious. Acha. wherever you go remind everyone that all the double foreigners have to become number 1 acha bab dada is giving all the mothers all the lovely mothers of go uh, gopal lots and lots of love and remembrance from his heart the pandavas too whether youth or householders have always been companion of the lords of the pandavas so bab dada is giving lots of uh, lots of love and remembrance to such pandavas who are companion of baba says that baba sometimes say hindi it is his pandavpati 
टूडे देन बाबा इज स्पीकिंग टू दादी जी मीन्स दादी प्रकाश मणि जी वॉट डू यू रिमेंबर टूडे यू रिसीव बाबा से यू रिसीव विल पावर डिड यू नॉट दिस एटीन जनवरी सो यू हैव द ब्लेसिंग ऑफ विल पावर यू हैव प्लेड अ वेरी गुड पार्ट एंड देर फॉर कॉन्ग्रेचुलेसन आफ्टर ब्रह्मा बाबा सो मच एक्सपांसन ऑफ दिस सर्विस यज्ञ सो यू हैव रिसीव मेनी ब्लेसिंग फ्रॉम एवरी वन एवरी वन बिकम्स हैप्पी वेन यू सी वेन दे सी यू वेदर यू स्पीक और नॉट वेन समथिंग हैपन्स टू यू एवरी वन फील्स दैट इट हैज हैपन टू देम एवरी वन हैज टू हैज सो मच लव एवरी वन हैज सच लव यू हैव अ लॉट ऑफ लव फॉर एवरी वन so it is uh, it is this love that is making everyone move whether there is more or less uh, dharna baba says it is the love that is making them move very good then baba spoke to isu dadi and she was working in brahma baba's office looking after the all the uh, darks that is posts so this one has also settled her accounts Isu Dadi had fallen and had a rest. It doesn't matter. Baba says this one's efforts are easy. Her accounts are settled easily. It happened very easily while laying down. You received comfort like Vishnu. Acha. After all, you have been a protector of the yagya from the Saka days until now. There are many blessings for being a protector of the yagya. all of you dadis are very very close to bap dada you are the jewels who are close everyone has a lot of value for the dadis the gathering is also good the gathering of you dadis has protected the yagya for so many years and will continue to do so this is a blessing so this unity is the basis of all success you have kept the father in the middle this attention you have kept is very good acha uh, are all of you fine then baba is giving blessing may you become an easy effort maker by having all relationship with the one father as your companion then only we can uh, our all efforts will be easy so baba explain how to fulfill this uh, blessing the father himself is offering to fulfill his responsibility of companionship in all the relationship stay with the father in each relationship according to the time and make him your companion when you have his constant company and he is your companion there cannot be anything difficult when you feel lonely don't remember the father in the form of a point that time baba says whatever relations require you use me with that relation baba says but bring the list of your attainments in front of you bring into your awareness the stories of the uh, different entertaining experiences of different times and experience the sweetness of all relationship any hard work will then finish and you will become an easy effort maker so we have to have that in our intellect then only at that time we can remember and experience it so slogan for today become one with many forms and recognize the many forms of maya and you will become a master lord of maya So we will remember Baba. We will thanks Baba and finish the Murli.